Three stress management strategies and techniques you can use to conquer anxiety. These are the three strategies and techniques that helped me overcome severe anxiety. The first two strategies are long-term strategies that over the next weeks and months can completely change your life. And the third strategy is a way to gain control over anxiety starting today. So let's start with strategy number one, improve your self-talk. Self-talk is the way you talk to yourself. You may be aware of an inner voice that provides a running monologue throughout the day. This internal chitter-chatter can be positive and optimistic, or it can be negative and self-defeating. So how do you improve your self-talk? Should you pep yourself up and learn some positive affirmations? No, I mean, you can if you want to, but there's a more effective approach. Self-talk is kind of like a barrel of apples. If you saw some of the apples in the barrel were rotten, would you just add more fresh apples to counteract it? No, you would just remove the rotten apples. Because if you leave them there, the rotten apples are going to spoil the whole barrel. So instead of adding positive self-talk to a barrel of rotten apples, first remove the rotten apples, then you can replace them with positive self-talk. So how do you remove negative self-talk? It helps to know what negative self-talk looks like. There are 10 types of self-talk that create stress. These are called cognitive distortions. They are thinking patterns that always cause stress and anxiety. So if you can avoid these 10 patterns, your self-talk will improve and your stress will reduce to manageable levels. One example is called all or nothing thinking. This is when you say things like, I'm a total failure. All or nothing creates a lot of stress because your self-image is always being shattered by reality. Perfectionism is a great example of this. It creates stress because you're expecting perfection out of yourself, and if you achieve anything less, you see yourself as a total failure. Another example is called magnification. This is kind of like making a mountain out of a molehill. You tell yourself how serious something is, and you treat it as if it's a life or death situation. This creates stress because your body doesn't know the difference between a real threat and a perceived threat. So when you tell yourself something like, if I don't get this done in time, the world is going to end, your body will actually think that the world is going to end. So you end up feeling so worried that you may curl up in a ball and just wait for the world to end. The key to eliminating these from your self-talk is to pay attention to what you are saying to yourself. If you're feeling super stressed, think back to what you've been thinking about for the last few minutes. Then try to look at the situation more objectively and replace the thought with, with a more objective, rational thought. If you catch yourself saying, I'm such an idiot, you can say in response, I may have behaved like an idiot, but I'm not an idiot. If you want to learn more about improving your self-talk, you can watch my free anxiety relief course here on YouTube. It'll teach you the 10 thinking patterns that cause anxiety. It only takes about 30 minutes to go through the whole course. So the first stress management strategy is to improve self-talk. The second strategy is to start the day with meditation. Starting the day with meditation gives you a head start on the negative self-talk. Instead of starting the day by reacting to your thoughts and letting them drive your actions, you can spend 10 to 20 minutes quietly observing your thoughts and seeing what pops up. My favorite type of meditation is breath counting. I sit upright in a comfortable seat and I just count the breaths as they go by. If you want more info on how to do it, I have another video called Breath Counting Meditation. I'll put a link to it down below. Or you can learn it through an app called Headspace. Over time, with daily meditation practice, you'll stop associating so closely with your self-talk. A thought will pop in your head and you'll think, oh, that's interesting. My brain really wants to think about that today. You'll develop a sense of curiosity with your mind, and your thoughts will seem less important. And this will make you way better at managing your stress. So that's strategy number two. Start the day with meditation. These first two strategies can completely change your life if you commit to them for at least a year. But how can you start managing your stress better today? What can you do right now? Well, that brings me to strategy number three, breathing exercises. With five minutes of breathing exercises, you can completely reset your body. 
So if you're stressed out of your mind and your self-talk is really negative, the best thing to do is a breathing exercise. That's because when you're stressed, your breathing is very shallow and irregular. You'll inhale for six seconds, exhale for two, inhale for four seconds, and so forth. Just really shallow and irregular. But when you're calm and relaxed, your breathing becomes deep and predictable. You'll inhale for five seconds and exhale for five seconds over and over in a predictable pattern. Or you may inhale for four seconds and exhale for six seconds. The exact timings may vary, but the main thing is that it becomes deep, predictable, and rhythmic. And the great thing is you can reverse the process. If you're stressed, you can consciously control your breath for a few minutes, and the stress will naturally melt away. The negative self-talk will subside on its own. So if you do short breathing exercises throughout the day, you will automatically manage your stress. Over the last year, I learned there are six things you need to do to relieve stress with breathing exercises. And that's why I wrote my new book. It's called Breathing Secrets. It'll teach you the six secrets to conquer anxiety doing the one thing you do naturally, which is breathing. These are the secrets that took me from severe anxiety with daily panic attacks to where I am today, which is calm, focused, and relaxed. And just for watching this video, I'll give it to you for free. You can download it at my website, breathingsecretsbook.com. So if you want to feel control over stress rather than letting stress control you, download the book and give it a read. It's only 30 pages long, so it shouldn't take more than an hour to read. I'll put the link to the book down below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and click the like button. Go download my ebook, it's totally free. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.